Hey everybody, this is Mike with the One Stop Co-op Shop, and today I'm doing a playthrough of Retrograde. This is one I did a preview for back when it was on crowdfunding, but I accidentally deleted my gameplay footage, so my preview ended up just being like my thoughts on the game. I thought I should rectify that and actually show you the game in action. And disclaimer that they did send me a review copy of this one. And if you like the content on the One Stop Co-op Shop, consider supporting us through Patreon. You get early access to our videos and exclusive videos every month you can't see anywhere else. You can also check out our separate streaming channel for even more content, listen to our weekly podcast, or come join the conversation on our Discord. So whether you're playing solo or competitively, you're going to be going through eight rounds, and your goal in the game is to score as many points as possible. You'll be blowing up these little Space Invader-ish spaceships. They're each worth one point for each one you destroy. And then if you destroy all of the little ships in a given column, you automatically blow up the boss, and that's worth another three points. You can also cross off one of these trophies every round at the bottom. They're each worth one point as well. And if you get all seven of them, they're worth three points. But how the game actually goes is you have a certain number of these cards up here, and they're going to indicate two of the alien types, uh, both by their shape and also by the digits inside of them. So they go from one, two, three, four, five, six, and that's going to match uh, the dice you're rolling. And in real time, you're rolling your dice and you roll until you're happy with your roll. And you're looking for pairs of colors or numbers, however you want to think about it. But they have to be pairs that are showing on your card to blow somebody up. So to blow up a six, I've got a pair of sixes here. But only if I chose one of these three cards that shows a six, could I actually use it. So let's say like this was my card for the turn. I could use these two to blow up a six anywhere on the board. But my pair of threes would be useless, as would my single one and my single two, because the only other number I'm allowed to blow up with this card is fours. And you just cross off the ones you're blowing up. If you do get to blow up multiple people, they have to all be connected to each other, either orthogonally or diagonally in some sort of chain. So like if I had this, a six and a four, I could blow up like that guy and that guy or that guy and that guy because they're sixes and fours and because they are connected at least diagonally. Now, at the end of each round, if you have dice left over, you can cross off one of the trophies with a value matching one of those dice. And like I said, that's one victory point and you get a bonus if you get all of them. Now, also, whichever card you pick is going to have a uh, bonus at the bottom. If it's a coin, you just circle one of the coins on your card. And in any future round, you can cross that out to become basically a bonus die of any type that you already rolled. So like if I had, I don't know, uh, three sixes, I could say cross out a coin and say now I have four sixes. But you have to have that value showing. Another thing the cards will have are power ups. Uh, this first one that's up is super coin, which will make coins give me two extra dice instead of one. And how power-ups work is when you get the card, it doesn't do anything by itself yet. But once you've completely destroyed an entire row of ships, you can cross out that row to play a power-up. So it gives you uh, incentives to both go vertically and horizontally for your destruction. And finally, the third type is what's called a comet. This actually affects your attacking during the turn that you take it. It lets you use three of any kind. It wouldn't have to be a three or a six. And that three of a kind can blow up any droid. It still has to be uh, connected, but it can be of any type. So like if I pick this card, three of a kind would let me blow up a one, a two, a four, or a five. I wouldn't have to just destroy a three or a six. Now in competitive, how it works is all the players are trying to like get dice they like as quickly as possible. And once they do, they grab one of the cards and they've locked that in for themselves. And when every player except one is done, they all shout stop. That final player can do two more re-rolls of any of their dice they want. And then they have to take one of the leftover two cards. In Solo, to model that, they have a 25-second timer. Now, you're supposed to like use your phone or something, but I'm recording with my phone. So I'm just going to use the sand timer. It's like 28 seconds. I timed it, so it's, I, don't know, I guess I'm, I'm on slightly easy mode here. But when the sand timer runs out, it's as though uh, you have run out of time. You roll two spare dice, and every card that shows those icons, in this case, I got a five and a two, so just this card, those cards go away. You get uh, two more re-rolls, just like in the competitive game, and then you have to pick one of the remaining cards. If the two dice you roll somehow clear out every card on the board, then you get a single card that you have to take. And yeah, that's it. It's uh, quick, it's straightforward. So let's go ahead and play. All right, I do love power-ups. <laughs> so twos and sixes. Looks like the best I could do there would be like a two and maybe two sixes are kind of going that way. Or I guess I could do two twos and a six. So if I uh, am lucky enough to get a lot of pairs, then that would be great. Uh, besides that, sixes are going to be great pretty much no matter what, unless I go ones and fours, because that's on every card. So I'm not rolling twos, but if I get like sixes and fours or sixes and ones, that's pretty good. All right, so with that in mind, let's go ahead and start this thing off. All right, so I've got, okay, twos. I said I wanted twos, right? Twos and sixes, I think. Okay, there's a six. And there's another two. Well, let's, okay. Uh, oh, and do, 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 do. I want another two. Okay. Oh, there we go. So, uh, yes, we'll stop. I still have some time left. We'll stop right there. So I'm going to take this card. The other three are discarded. 
Uh, they have the like deck. You take some cards out of it before you shuffle it to accommodate the player count. So I'm going to run out of cards right when I'm done the eight rounds of the game. All right, so twos and sixes. So I've got a pair of twos. Blast this guy. Got another pair of twos. Going diagonally. Blast this guy. I got a pair of sixes. I'm going to go for the horizontal. Uh, so I'll blast that guy. Although now I'm making it tougher to potentially get the ones and the threes there. And again, I've got the super coin, but I don't actually have its power yet. I would have to uh, finish off, for example, that three guy there to get a complete row. And unfortunately, I have no dice left to get a trophy, which means the only way for me to get uh, all the trophies and get the extra three points would be for me to get a trophy for every round after this one. We'll see how that goes. All righty. So this time we've got a couple threes, which we would kind of like to get our power up unlocked. Uh, three and five would work. Three and six would definitely not work that well. Although I could just go for like four threes, ignore the sixes and try to get a trophy in this. What's this do? Make two extra rerolls when you're the last player or in the solo case when the timer runs out. Eh, that's not that great. What's this? Uh, six and four. Oh, that's actually pretty good. That's uh, they definitely link together well. And this is a power up. Ooh, all ones you roll are wild for the rest of the game. That's uh, pretty dang good. Although if I'm rolling well, I don't really need that. So, yeah, I think threes and fives might be the best, like, actual number combo for me to go for. And then I also have the comet to bless something, maybe. I'm a little worried about <laughs> these ones, because, you know, finishing columns gets you those boss victory points, which tend to be the best. All right, so let's maybe go for the three and the five. But threes or fives seem pretty good in general. Let's start. All right, so threes or fives. Uh, none of those. Okay. <laughs> uh, okay, there's a five. There. Ooh, there's two threes. That's pretty good. I'd love to get fourth. Okay, there's another three. Do, do, do. Yes. Okay, what the heck? Let's go for a five. Okay, so we got all of those. I can decide if I want to do a trophy, but let's stop there. Yep, we're good. And grab this one. Yeah, do I want to get the trophies? I mean, I would be giving up shooting down a ship, and a trophy and a ship are each worth one victory point. So the question is, is it more likely me shooting a ship will get me to a boss, which is worth three? or that I'll complete all of the trophies. I feel like I'm not going to get all the trophies, most likely. All right, so let's do uh, three, which gets me that. So now coins are doubled for me. You're supposed to just like slide that, but for now, we'll just keep it up here. Um, all right, so that was one, three, um, and then another three. And then which five do I want to go for? I guess I'll go that way. So I didn't use the comet at all. Wah, wah. I guess I'll try to get coins from now on when I can. And if I want to get a coin, I only have one option. What's this power up? Oh, man, you have an extra die for the rest of the game. That's such a good one. <laughs> okay. All right, but number wise, um, fives and fours, sure. Ooh, fives and sixes would get me kind of in there. Although I want to be going vertically. So maybe like ones and twos would be good. Or ones I could even get down here uh, and then plan to like use a three of a kind to kind of, I don't know, do something. <laughs> But yeah, I think like the coin or the power up are my best bet. So five and six, sure. Or five and four. Those are all good, but I feel like five and six locks me in less. And then hopefully I can go like up there. So either way, we're going for fives and then sixes or fours, wherever we happen to roll. Here we go. All righty, righty, righty. Um, what do we want? Fives and sixes. That's none of those. Okay, there's some sixes. Oh, or fours. I forgot I could go for four as well. That's all right. All right, so I've already got... Um, I guess I'd rather have more sixes, so let's, ah, come on, come on, come on, the timer's running out, come on, <laughs> oh no, oh wait, that was five, right, or six, oh, what was it, it was a six, oh no, oh no, oh no, ah, <laughs> oh, there we go, ah, okay, got it, all right, the timer ran out a second, like, after I grabbed the card, uh, technically, if you're playing, like, by the rules, you're supposed to have the cell phone, like, timer hidden from you, so that it's a surprise when it rings. Clearly, I can see the uh, the hourglass. So, again, I'm not quite playing by the rules here. But it's fine. Okay, so I don't do the coin until the end of the turn. So I've got two sixes. I'm going to try to, like, go those. And uh, the five, I'll do that one, I guess. I'm not finishing any columns like this. All right, and then I get to cross a circle off. So any future turn, remember, now with my uh, unlock, my super coin... I can uh, use that to get two extra dice of anything I'm already showing. So I can like cross off a whole extra pair, for example. Pretty good. Ooh, now we've got another super coin. I wonder would that 
I guess it says an extra time. So I would like copy three. Okay, or twos are wild. We're getting another coin. Ones and sixes, though, don't connect at all. Hmm. Ones and fives are good. Yeah, ones and fives definitely work. Two and three, definitely good. And five and four, yeah. Okay, so everything except for the one and six, which I think was the one I wanted the most. Although at some point, I got to get these stupid ones, right? Mm. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe I should have uh, more carefully planned out what I was going to attack. But it's okay. Although, I would love to have the coin. Like, is it, maybe I get one and six, just try to get four ones, get a trophy. Or sorry, four of a kind ones, get a trophy, and then get coins. And then I can, like, use multiple coins in a future round. You know, I'm actually kind of liking that idea. So I think I'm going to go for four ones and get that coin. Let's see how quickly we can roll four ones. Okay, that's a good start. <laughs> Three of them right off the bat. Oh, darn, I think I just knocked a die that was about to become a one. Do, 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 do. Watch Mike roll some dice, and he sucks at them. Oh, there we go. Uh, that's more than I want. Uh, I'd rather not. There, two of uh, there's two fours on the trophy thing. So there we go. A four is a little gonna be better than something else. All right. So I'm grabbing this. I'm using four ones to cross off both of these because now it's not gonna be too tough for me to uh, get the bosses. Why am I doing the <laughs> the tallest Calibs? Was it or the hardest? Um, I've got an extra four and a one. I'm gonna. Cross off the four trophy, because there's two of those, so I leave myself with more flexibility. Now I've got a second coin, and you can use as many coins as you want in one round, so I can just blast things all to heck. How many rounds has that been? Is that the fourth round? The fifth round? Oh, now we're all coined up. I like that. What's the power up? Uh, it's an extra odd number. One, three, or five every round. So kind of like you just have an extra die. But the coin, getting the coin, is like... Two extra dice, although I do already have some rows filled out, so if I got a power up, I would get it immediately. Well, let's look at the numbers. One and six, we know that's terrible. One and three, that would work. Three and four, mm, I mean, I could just get a ton of fours. Three and five is very good. Okay, so one and three or three and five are the two things I'm going for. We got some coins to make it even better. Let's try it out. One and three or three and five. Okay, so I got some fives, I got nothing else. Um, I got some threes. Three and five. Three and five, right? Okay, we can go for three and five. Come on. Three and five. Um, okay. I think three of a kind is fine because the coins give me two. Oh, so no, I don't. I, what do I want more of? I guess I want more threes. Oh, God. Time's almost out. Uh, uh, come on. Oh, there we go. Uh, okay. Boom. Yes. Got it. Okay, cool. <laughs> All right. So here we go. So I've got threes and I've got fives. So I can do one five and two threes. So let's do boom, boom. I'm gonna spend a coin to count it as two more threes because my super coin. And I've got one five, and I guess I'll spend a coin to make it another five. So now the only numbers that I care about are one, four, two, and maybe sixes. And then I get another coin for the future. That's the part I like. So I did not uh, do a trophy, but that's okay with me. Okay, another coin would be great. Um, froggy, one of your exes doesn't need to neighbor anything. Oh, that would actually be pretty good, especially earlier. That would have been better. And then this is a free even die. Ooh, two ones to give me a free even die return. Okay, twos and fours, not great. Twos and fours, not great. Twos and fives, not great. Okay, <laughs> well, here's the thing. I, I have a ton of twos and I have a ton of fours. So, and especially the twos are kind of off by themselves. So I feel like, and yeah, all these cards have a two. So if I just try to get like six of a kind for twos, or, you know, something approaching that and use my coin, that seems like it might be okay. So I'm just going to try to get as many twos as possible. So anything that's not a two, I don't like you. Okay, two, two, two. Oh, that's a great start. Wait, didn't, wasn't this a two? This is definitely a two. You got knocked. Okay, come on, come on. Come on. Oh, there we go. And okay. Come on, come on. I don't even want know which. Oh, okay, I got them all. Uh, which one do I want, though? Uh, uh, It doesn't really matter. I guess uh, the coin or the, no, the free die. The free die seems cool. I'm getting this. Okay, and I still had some time left. That's cool. Uh, all right. So, um, I've certainly got a row, so I'll immediately get the even Steven. So, in the future, I will have an extra even die, two, four, six. And I can cross off up to three twos. Boop, boop, boop. Which means I have killed this boss. I've killed that boss. None of the rest. Okay, and still no trophies. But I get a free even at two, four, six next turn. Which will only matter if I have a card that lets them attack. But with fours and sixes left, that seems like it should be pretty uh, easy to make happen. And I've still got one coin. Okay, so there's definitely two rounds left. <laughs> Just flipping through the cards real quick. 
Hmm. Okay. I see ones. Maybe I just try to get the ones out. Well, they don't go with anything. I see fours, but no sixes. Okay, so yeah, this is pretty much... Well, you know, I might as well try to get this one, the odd eye. I get a free one, three, or five each round. Kind of like the even one. If I get all six dice to four, or even one less because of the even Steven. Oh, the even Steven can also give me a uh, a trophy. That's great. Okay. So yeah, I'm going to try to get like all fours and get the free odd. But then I can't get the six and the one. Darn it. So maybe I... I mean, I was going to say maybe I go for the ones instead. Or if I did the three and the four here with the comet, which could get the six. But how many dice would that take? <laughs> Two, four, six, eight, eleven. That doesn't seem likely. I have six dice. I'm getting a free one for seven. I got a single coin to get to nine. No, so there'd be one four left. Hmm. And then I just like have to hope that I get like a well, you know what? Actually, I'm okay with that. So I'm gonna go for three of a kind and or fours. And I'm going to try to get this one, comet the six, see what happens. Okay, so here we go. So three of a kind and fours. That's zero fours. Oh, I did have three of a kind, but whatever. Um, okay, there's a four. Oh, gosh. Okay, there's a lot of fours. Oh, that's four fours. And then, oh, I wanted three of a kind, right? So I guess, actually, with my coin, anything could be a three of a kind. So let's just get, like, another four. I don't know. Um, <laughs> come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, it's a timer. Okay. Uh, I mean, whatever. Okay, I'll stop. <laughs> I got it. So I'm not really sure exactly how this is going to go. All right. So how was I figuring this? Okay. So I've got my even Steven. I'll just grab an extra die. So that's going to temporarily be another four. Um, yeah. Okay. So here's what I'll do. Uh, so one, two, three fours. I'm going to use the coin to get two more threes, and then my comet lets me attack anything with a three of a kind. All right, cool. And that gets me another boss. Now I just really got to hope like a one four card or a one with comets or something like that comes out. I do have no coins now, so yeah, I don't even know if it's possible. Oh, is that a one four? <laughs> That's great. Okay. Um, so yeah, if I can get four ones, and even one four, because I've got the even Steven, I can fully kill this board. I won't have a perfect score since I didn't do the trophies. Oh, could I have done a trophy? No, I did use every die that turn. Okay. So, uh, whoops, here we go. Do, 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 whoops, uh, flipped over. Okay. <laughs> what am I going for? Ones and fours. I need more fours than ones. That's right. Um, okay, there's a four. Come on, y'all. I don't run away. Oh, I'm, oh crud, I'm running too, rolling too many dice. Okay, I got rid of the extra die. <laughs> Sorry. Um, okay, I need a one. I need a one. Oh, yes, that's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. Go, go, go away. And then I'll say my extra die is it doesn't really matter. It can be any even because that'll let me get uh, another trophy. So, yeah, I think this did this work. I'm getting a four trophy because I had an extra whatever. Got a single four and two of those. Boom, boom. Awesome. So let's go ahead and calculate our score. It's kind of fun. You just fold this down and it has it there automatically. So destroyed dudes. Um, it's five times four is 20, 26. Um, all five bosses times three, 15. Two, whoops, let me move that up a little bit. Two trophies, zero trophy bonus, uh, 41, 43. And what's a max score? Five more for trophies plus the bonus eight. So it was 51 the highest, if I counted that right. Well, there you go. Some gameplay of Retrograde. A little bit late, uh, way after the crowdfunding campaign, but at least I got to do it with the uh, final version of the game. Yeah, I still think uh, Soul is pretty fun. Certainly, uh, multiplayer is kind of the way to go with this one. The kind of uh, intensity of trying to grab a card that somebody else might want uh, while all rolling at the same time is where like the hectic chaos is. I think the timer, uh, you know, and I was kind of using the wrong one, but I think the timer sort of replicates that in solo, but it's not the game at its best, but it's certainly a nice little bonus that you can play it solo. But yeah, thanks for watching, everybody. Good gaming, and I'll see you at the next stop.